this Flash and Action Script 3 lesson, we demonstrate how to use your text area component from within your components library here in two scenarios. The first scenario is gathering it in a form type application or wherever you want to make text editable. And you can see if they put a whole lot of text in, it automatically gives them that scroll bar, which is nice, so they can see all of the content they're entering. And the second scenario is showing you if you happen to be bringing text in from external sources like XML or MySQL and PHP how to render your HTML based text within a text area or any text field for that matter. Click create new flash action script 3 file and once inside we're gonna drag two text area component instances out to the stage I'm going to name, give this one an instance name of text area one. This one, text area two. Okay, now they have instance names. Let's resize these. Let's make them no, 250 each. 250 by 140. Two fifty, one forty. Okay, now they're both the same size. Let's get them right there next to each other. All right. Now what we're going to do is drag out. Let's move them up a little. Let's drag out a dynamic text field. Put that on stage as well. Right about now. And it looks like we can resize our stage a little bit. This demonstration doesn't need to be so high maybe 300 perfect okay now let's make sure this dynamic text field has an instance name too status underscore txt now we have instance name there there and there now text field one we want to make an editable text field like you would see in a flash form or something like that and this one we're going to use as a display field or a display area. So what we can do is name this first layer stage elements and then the second layer that we're going to create right now above it we're going to rename that AS3 for ActionScript 3. Okay so now let's highlight our ActionScript 3 layer that keyframe right there and press F9 open the actions panel and the first thing is we're going to create a string with HTML text. So let's name it that string with HTML colon string is equal to let's put this in between single quotes to have it render correctly. Let's pop in that string and take a look at it. You can see it's a really long string there and it has HTML inside of it. So you see the HTML text all mingled in to that string. Now we're going to set the text area number one as editable so people can type into it. Text area one dot editable and this is a property of the text area equals true. And now for the content in that text area, let's just grab that instance name, put it here, and let's put content in it. Dot text is equal to I can be edited. Let's spell it right. Edited and sent in a form type application period okay now this next section we're going to deal with the text area too so let's just grab that instance name change it to two and let's just grab that whole line actually text area one editable false so now let's change this to text area two so now we've made text area 2 
editable false which means no one will be able to type in it and change the text that we're going to display in it which is this string so now we can display HTML text by claiming text area to dot HTML text is equal to our string here so let's just grab that string bar pop it right in so that's going to pop that string with HTML mingled into it into this HTML defined text area because we set the HTML text property okay now the next line just two or three more lines here we're gonna add an event listener so you guys can know when someone is changing your text or when they're entering into a field maybe you want to do something and there's a whole lot of events you can listen for in the text area you can research those in the help file or online and this is going to be event dot change event so when somebody types into that uh, text area one we want to know about it and maybe do something we'll display event now let's just write out that function real quick and that's it and we can see what we have function display event and this is event colon event open curly brace and close the curly brace oh forgot my void put in void okay now within the function we're just going to update that status text field that we have sitting on stage status underscore txt dot text is equal to this event so we don't need that event and let's make it display as a string event to string that way it'll display as a string within that text field now let's see what we get let's press control enter okay it says I can be edited and sent in a form type application so let's see if we type see when we start typing it shows us the event which is the change event and what's cool about the this field is that if they get many many lines down through there they're putting in a whole lot of text let's say it will just keep giving them it will give them a scroll so they can type in as much text as they like and they can get to all of it and uh, let's see and then this one they cannot edit we're just using it as display of HTML text and if you click these see it takes you to the website So that's how you can set HTML text within your text area components and also use the text area component in a form input gathering type situation. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson. Bye bye.